September 25th, a close friend, wise advisor, and teacher to the Marian Institute passed away. Wangari Mathai was a shaft of light for all who are committed to the cause of environmental sustainability and social justice. In 2004, Wangari was the first African American woman, sorry, African woman, to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for the work she's accomplished through the Green Belt Movement. The group's work. The group's work led to the planting of tens of millions of trees and the empowerment of millions of women in Kenya, Africa, and throughout the world. The Marian Institute shared a special connection with Wangari and the Green Belt Movement, which in 1993 became one of our serendipity projects. Wangari also sat on the Marian Institute Advisory Board. Mary Davidson, one of our board members and a dear friend of Wangari's told me that one of Wangari's favorite memories from visiting the Marian Institute took place when she was planting a tree in the Marian Bicentennial Park. She had suggested to us that it was always best to plant a sapling rather than an already grown tree. However, when arriving at the park for the planting, she noted with a smile that it was a very American concept to be greeted by a 12-foot-tall sapling. With her radiant smile and her ever-thoughtful humor, Wangari said, this is what makes America big. Americans always think big and make big happen. And more than 10 years later, that tree remains strong and stands tall. Wangari was a citizen of the world, and the world will miss her deeply. But we find strength in her roots, we thrive under her branches, and we rejuvenate ourselves in the cool of her shade. Her legacy of determination and persistence will continue to inspire us and many others to continue the work that she and the Greenbelt Movement began over 35 years ago in the small villages of rural Kenya. The millions of trees that they planted will continue to grow and countless more will be planted all over the world. will cause environmental degradation because as I sometimes do a poor person will cut their last tree to cook what may be their last meal they're not worried about tomorrow they're worried about today on the other hand it is very important for poor people to understand that the more you add a add a, the more you degrade your environment the more you uh, mismanage your environment, the more you are likely to uh, dig yourself deeper into poverty. Often we get people who are educated, they have big ideas, but they want these people to change overnight. They can't. And if you push them too much, they will do it while you are there. And once you pull back, they collapse. So it's always good to hear that there is somebody somewhere, we are no longer in touch, 
and this person is still going on with their project. They are now able to stand on their own. They can truly say they have improved their quality of life. Uh, and it, is, it, it all started with planting that one tree. Now, Wangari said, it's the little things citizens do. That's what will make the difference. My little thing is planting trees. So in honor of her life, the Marion Institute is giving away 500 blue spruce saplings to the conference attendees. And this time, Wangari, we got the size right. <laughs> and we ask that you plant yours with love and in remembrance for Wangari. Thank you also to We want to thank Jeffrey Glassman, the founder of Rainforest Maker, for donating the trees. And you can pick yours up at the Marion Institute booth on your way out of the, the theater just before lunch.